Hey YouTubers, I am gonna give a review of how I feel about this Caldwell Universal Mag uh, Loader. Uh, I saw it online and I have been having a nightmare of a time trying to get my magazines loaded. Um, I'm gonna be dealing with Springfield Armory. This is a Hellcat and I'm also gonna use an XDS. Both of them are nine millimeters and Springfield comes with double stack magazines um now my magazine's brand new my gun has only had ooh, maybe maybe a hundred rounds through it you know um so let's just get started and see how it goes okay so i, I you know it doesn't come with any instructions but i've looked at the videos and it's pretty simple you kind of look in here and see in here uh it shows you the width turn this and show it to you you can see the width of uh, inside of here so as you turn these little knobs um, you know they uh, go wider or more narrow so I know that a number three on both sides seems to be a good fit it tells you which direction to go in so it's pretty easy with that um, obviously that's the front so I'm gonna slide this in, make sure that it's all lined up right so that that goes in there. Uh, number three, three is what I had it on and three seems to be, I'm sorry, actually, you know what, it's not three, it's number four, sorry. Three was a little too tight. It's number four. So if I put it on number four, I'm able to slide this magazine in here. Now the problem for me is that it's a little loose from what I'm thinking it's supposed to be. We're talking just left and right. Maybe it's not, but if I go to a three, it's too tight. A five is too loose. So we're gonna go ahead and go with the number three. I push it all the way down. And like the instruction said, I screw the back up nice and tight so that it doesn't slide out, okay? Now that's seated in there the way it's supposed to be. Next, magically, you're supposed to be able to take a bullet, in this case a nine millimeter, and slide it down in here. Okay, so I think you have to slide it to the front first in order to push this little tab out of the way, you see. So that's it seated, all right? Now mind you, I just got this thing out of the box. I've tried it twice, it hasn't worked so far. So then you're supposed to go squeeze on the handle, okay? Now, you can see where it took the drive up, but you're supposed to squeeze hard enough because this has got to push back in here. Oh, that's the first time it's ever happened. Seriously. That actually is the other magazine that I have been using a lot. The first magazine I tried with, I have not used at all. And I, for the life of me, could not squeeze this thing. So now that they're in there, they're going in pretty darn nice. Of course, it's like going to the doctor's office, right? You go in front of the doctor and the pain goes away. So that's getting in there pretty easy. It does take me two hands to do it. And that's strictly on my own part because I've had surgery on both hands. So to sit here and squeeze down on this is a little bit more difficult, but I can guarantee you it's not nearly as difficult doing this as it was for me to try and push these in by my thumb or to use any of my other loaders. So the other loaders that I have, let me pull these out of the way. The other loaders that I had tried using, paid nice money for. Um, the first one I didn't pay hardly anything for, your typical little block loader, you know, push it down everybody gets those but I did pay a nice little amount of money for this thing right here and it looked really nice I mean you're able to take your whole tray in theory and slide it on here and pick up all the bullets at once you get your magazine in here you got to push and pull and fight and I'm slamming it on the table I'm pushing it into my chest um, and it's the right one nine millimeter to 40 millimeter it's supposed to work with my gun type it's supposed to work with my magazine type um this fits in here like it's supposed to oh, now it won't, of course right 
this fits in here. Oh, let's see if we can get in here. Um, and let me take this one out because this is the one I just put one in. This is the brand new magazine. So it fits in here. It's really good and snug. And you're supposed to be able to just push these down. I've seen guys on videos with these. They've struggled. I've seen some guys say, push it into your sternum. You know what? I'm a female and I've got breasts. They're not in my sternum, but I don't want things being jammed in between them in the sternum. So it's actually quite difficult for me to use this loader, which is why I went ahead and threw it in my accessory bag along with all the other things and started to use this other loader. So again, what I found so far is this one actually is doing it right now. I guess it likes the video, but um, when I try to do it with my brand new magazine, I'm gonna do here in a second once this one's completely loaded because God knows I never get this thing completely loaded. I'm just actually stunned that I'm getting this actually getting this thing loaded for the I think it's for the first time. I'm um I'm on eleven out of thirteen. Wow, I, I still can't believe it. Um so same exact gun this is the other magazine we're gonna slide it in here again and I'm gonna push down and hold it in place just to make sure and I'm gonna screw this thing in nice and tight now here's where I had the problems before and maybe maybe it'll be different but I put this in on a brand new magazine and squeeze and for the life of me this is the same amount of pressure that I'm putting in it's not coming out. What is happening is as I squeeze, this piece is starting to unseat. And this has happened over and over and over again. So that's where I was getting pretty frustrated, which made me start to do this video. What I'm gonna try to do is to put this first one in because again, this is, it's so new and it's so friggin' tight. <laughs> that's what she said. No, literally, that is what she just said. Um, so what I'm going to do is put this in here right now, and then I'm going to tighten it down. Okay. And now with one in there, let's see if it changes the dynamic on using this, right? Boom. And it did. So what I'm going to say is if you got one of these and it has a very, oh, let's try it again. Did it move? Put it in, seated it. it too quickly didn't do it on that one okay let's pull it back out and reseat it again somehow this magazine and any loader I think I've ever tried it on it's just not gonna it's not happy could be a problem with the magazine who knows oh, lord I can see it pushing again I see it pushing I also see that it just pushed the magazine out again because where the bullets were all sitting down here it has now shifted so the bullets were sitting right down here at the tip where you could actually see them right here off the edge and as I push it's just pushing it up and out and I'm seeing that pretty hard it's just it really just doesn't care I don't have another um, setting on here to make it any tighter. Let me see if I can, you know, and, it, and it, no one ever talks about putting these settings on different settings. For instance, putting one side on a four and one side on a three or something, you know, and seeing if maybe that's, now if I do that, one side on a four, one side on a three, I'm a lot snugger in here, a lot more snug. Right now, let's see if that helps when I tighten it down. Okay, tighten it down. Try it again. Boom. Now that one in. Let's try it again. Right. Now we're stuck again. So it went in on one of them right away. And on the next one, it says F-U. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
gosh. So I don't know. Again, I'm not sure if it's my magazine that's really just having a hard time here. Um, let's go back to the original one I had, right? I got them on four and four. Got it back in here again. Let's just tighten it back up and let's just see. This is the one that we already have on 11 in, right? Boom. Again. That's 12. Okay, and that's supposedly, that's 13. And at the 13th, it actually did push the magazine out. It actually pushed it up and out of here again. Um, and that, that last bullet didn't go in at all. So I'm sorry, I miscounted, excuse me. I already have 13 in here. Um, but it did push it out of the way. So this one at least is completely loaded. All 13 are in here. Um, this one, which only holds 11, and again, it's brand new, and I don't even think it's ever even been loaded. Maybe it's been loaded with five rounds because that's as much as I could push. So it could be the fact that the springs on it are just super, super tight. I'm gonna take a quick look at my um, other Springfield, which is gonna be my uh, XDS. So I'm gonna use the same thing. It's an XDS it's by Springfield. And again, um, that one's already loaded, isn't it? They are loaded. Tell you what, this one's loaded. These are single stacks. Um, this one's loaded with seven. This one's loaded with five because I think I'm always having the same problem trying to get them um, in. So with the single stack, we're gonna make this adjustment on here. I think we're gonna go to two. It looks like a two might fit. Yeah, looks like a two is the right way to go. So I'm gonna push this in, make sure I'm set, and tighten it down. And on a two, let's just see if I can actually get any more bullets. Oh yeah, that's that one in piece of cake. So that went in just like it was supposed to go in, um, the way it shows on all the videos, you know? Oh. That's sweet, and that's eight right there. Wow, that's nice, because that's the first time I've ever had that thing, I think, loaded completely. I haven't had these two um, guns even a, even a year. <laughs> I don't think I've even had them seven months. Um, but there you go. Okay, so what I'm gonna say is, so far, I do like it. It is a lot easier to use than, than any of the other things I've used. Um, the only problem I'm having is with one particular magazine, it is really, really hard to get it in, and that's on this one short double stack. But on the other one, same exact gun with more bullets, it, it worked. Uh, again, I don't know if it's because maybe I've used this one a little bit more often, so the spring is a little um, more flexible in there. I'm gonna try and load this again and see if I can get it to load. And if I can get it to load, um, of course, maybe the more I use it, the more it will load easily. Otherwise, I might even look at the manufacturer to get another magazine because um, there's no reason why every single thing I've ever used on this one, I'm not able to load. Um, in any case, I, I do like it. So there you go. I was really skeptical at first because of that problem I was having, but now that I've changed magazines, I see that it might not be a problem at all. Um, so there you go. I hope this helped you out. If you were having any questions with this, I have no idea what this is for. Again, there's no instructions. Oh, you know what? Ha. No. <laughs> it's for that. It's to close it up to make it more convenient when it fits in your bag. That's funny because it didn't even come in the display case like that. So... Had it come in the case like this, I would have known right away. But I kept flicking this thing like, what the hell is this motor for? Um, that's cute. So anyway, uh, there you have it. 
now we know it works and I like it. Let's just see how many rounds it's gonna make it through before it starts to fall apart. So far, I'm enjoying it. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps you out if you are stuck with the same loader. Peace out, everybody.